Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order for May 18th, 2022. Let's start with the pledge. <coughs> pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, warrant bills assigned. Approval of the agenda. Make a motion that we approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I didn't do the minutes of the last meeting. We'll table the minutes. Please. Okay, we're gonna table the minutes until next week. Uh, on administrator, weekly update. I have no update this week for you, sir. Okay. Cool. Well, that was quick. Department head committee chair updates. Do you have any? I see none. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, Adam's not here, but I was curious how we're doing with the dams. We've been talking about them, or the bridges, rather, the, the bridges. Uh, um, just a. Why don't you come? Can you come on? Uh, just a, a status. I understand we were going to be talking to Milton officials, uh, so that's probably Adam. So you can't speak uh, to that. Um, but uh, well, on that note, I talked to uh, Ronald Taylor actually today that does like the inspections of the bridges and whatnot. And uh, oh man, I forget the guy's name that comes out for free. He's going to come. He's going to call me this week. And they're gonna come it's a Foster. Yeah. Yeah. Guy there. Okay. He's gonna come out. He's going to call me this week and we're going to set up a date. And then we got Road Bridge, West Shore Drive. And I did talk to the engineer today for West Shore Drive and uh, all the survey. And I think I said, if you, oh, it's all done. And they're just uh, they're kind of working with Army Corps engineer right now and just laying out all the guidelines and they're going to start designing. So that's where right. I'm at there. But I'm not sure what Adam's yeah. Could, could we, if, if uh, I think prior to the design, I would like to see the um, design specifications mm -hmm. of what it is we're going to be designing. And to just understand what, before we engage in that, if they're coming up with one engineering design, I'd like to understand what that design is. Is it preliminary? One? Something there that, you know, um, yeah, because you, it's um, like, I think it was like uh, Shapley. My father was a road commissioner in Shapley years yeah. ago, and they were trying to do a salt shed, and the uh, engineering company was coming in with this design. That, there was nothing. Yeah. They weren't even what they wanted. And then they finally, it, after there, twice. There, there should be some specifications that would be given to the engineer have to conduct the design. Oh, yeah. That's you told them what, you, what you're looking to oh, have yeah, put like in there? the in-kind replacement and all that. Oh, yeah. We, what? Like the, replacing the in-kind and everything. Like When the lady came out, like we made it very clear that's where we want to start with. And if they don't think that's possible, then we're going to have to move to it. What, what I was reacting to was that uh, it sounded as though with the Army Corps and maybe the various state agencies that they provided what the requirements are and now we're going to take those and put them into a engineering and design effort. Oh, and oh yeah, you know, the uh, inland fisheries was there that day and everything. They laid out what they what they wanted, you know, what they. So, wanted. is there disagreement between the concept of a no, replacement? Well, I, I guess so. I guess before we engage an engineer, I, I think we should have a vetting of exactly what we have to do or can do so that we pay for a engineering of the bridge once. Is, That's all I'm after. Have they started the engineering process? No, I mean no, the no, design. They, they haven't started no, the design no, process. Just, okay. They're just looking at like the survey, you know, what the survey they're is. They're figuring out the survey, yeah, getting right. the layout. And they, and they and the lady I was talking to, she that I'm dealing with, she wanted to call Army Corps herself and get their side of the story, you know, what they what they what we what they would consider what we can do there anyway. So she was going to work on that and all that. I mean, there's still, nothing's in design yet because she's, there's some homework. She I, was, I was simply reacting to what uh, your quick summary was, which was we're going to move into, yeah, uh, I, I we're going to pan it over to an engineer that, wait a minute, what are we building? And I just want to make that clear before we pay anyone to stop work. Yeah, it would be nice. We all to agree on that? Well, yeah, we have to. The simple reason is, I think we, we really made it um, public that 
we would want to let our square pond lake association kind of in on what was going yes. on. Yes, yeah, so that's right. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I've ever seen a reaction like when they talked about that culvert. And wow, yeah, yeah, everybody no, I, was. I, I keep yes. uh, Lee Robito right, right in the center. So everything yeah. happens, I call him right out. So. You know, my sense of it, Will, is that there are, you know, there are the, the state agencies. They clearly have something they would like to see done, and but there's. With any regulation, there's always interpretation of that. And we've got the, the, the people on the lake that want to see something different done. And usually there's some place in there that you end up. And I just want to make sure that we've got a good process to consider those elements and so that all involved and interested understand what we're going to do, why we have chosen that, so that um, there just aren't any surprises or feelings as though we haven't looked out for citizens' interest here. Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't go. I mean, it's there. When we were there that day with Ellie, I mean, there was everybody there made it quite clear, like to the point where <laughs> I mean, it, it got a little bit, I, I was a little embarrassed there for a few minutes. I uh, did that lady came because they. <laughs> Which lady? So they all want to keep what's there. Yeah, right. they made it quite clear. I mean, it well, was, but, it, but... Well, no, no, it's not well, Tom. It's, they, they made it very clear to that lady from the engineering company. That's, this is what we want. This is what's going to happen. Make it happen. Well, I'm not, I, I'm not lying, Tom. I, no, no, and I, I was there at some of those meetings. <laughs> well, you and, weren't at the last one. No, I wasn't, but <laughs> I was at a meeting where there was an engineer there, and it wasn't a town engineer, but it was someone that Spear, well, that's Spear brought. Well, and it, they were saying, yeah, you can do this. You can do a replacement. And I think it was um, the Army Corps was saying, yeah, you can do it. These are the requirements and specific. These are the conditions under which you can do it. So, but I, I'm not sure that's where we are. I just don't know where we are. And I think we ought to I, I think you, the public should hear this. So maybe we could have the engineer give us a summary of what they've come up with so far? Yeah, no, I can call it back tomorrow. Oh, I, just, I want to be clear, Tom, that everybody on Square Pond, they, the people, have, they voice their concerns very... I, the I hear them. No, yeah. To the point that they, the Square Pond Association brought up their own, they've already hired their own engineering company, yeah, I know. and this and that. I mean, to the point where I've told Square Pond, well, We'll get rid of this engineer. We'll hire yours if you think you have a better plan. And they, they, it didn't, didn't go over like that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you no. Know, let me do what I have to do, and I will relay the message those, back. Those to people them. do understand, even if they hire their own engineer, we have to say what goes in there, right? Well, I mean, but that day when we were down there, when the lady, when the new lady I sat dealing with from Ransom, I mean, they, they came right out like. I mean, to, it was a little embarrassing there. What did they come out and say? Well, this is what we want. We have our own engineer, and we're, they've told us we can do this. Is, was this brought by Spear, this person? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There were so many engineers, I can't keep track of them all. So this well, was a... Pond, the people from Square Pond were there, and I had our engineer here. And yeah. he said, we have an engineer that was here before. I said, we can do this. Gave him all these numbers of all these people. You know, like insulted the lady. Like talk, try and tell her she doesn't know what she's talking about, and it kind of really, really, like irritated me because like I, there was the first time the ladies ever been there, and everybody's going at her, and she's behind mm -hmm. on that's, everything because she just came into it. Who was she with? She's with Ransom Engineering, the company that's doing all the work. From Did her. you engaged? Yes. Okay, I'm just trying to get the party <laughs> straight. So I mean, I just want you to know, Tom, that everybody's concerns were felt that day, and I'm telling you, it got heated for a few minutes. I can imagine it does. Um, so everybody's concerns are there, Tom. I, I promise you, 100. percent I, I, I'm. Look, I don't want to belabor this. I'm sure that those concerns have all been raised. I just want to understand how we're going to get from that uh, difference of of opinion about what ought to happen there and can happen there well, to I'll arrive go. at a solution that the town is going to act upon and, and implement. Well, I'll call it wrong and I'll have her type something up and I'll give it to you guys next week. And okay. That's what we'll be. I think really what... Now, I don't think we have any plans to go bigger or better. Well, no, or, or, I, I mean, really what we, we just we want to replace... What we should is telling the engineering company to be uh, designed in the most efficient, cost-efficient, and effective design possible. Mm -hmm. 
and that would be obviously, mm. you know, well, you want you. you I, I agree with both of those. I think there are, I think the folks on Square Pond would have other considerations beyond that. And so, what are we doing right. with those? Yeah. So yeah, we are at right now. So right? you can get us a summary of what's going yeah, on. By our, like okay. Anything that happens when the time comes and we move on with this, everybody will be here. Like we had Colin here, we'll let everybody know. Like you, I would like to move on to just figure out what we're going to do and just get do it. it done. Yep. Get it done. Because the more we talk about this, the more we're going to spend. I just want to make sure that we do it in a way that we don't have a segment of the population really irritated about right. the outcome. Yeah. No, we're going to obviously have to have a public hearing and yeah. stuff and yeah. all that. Yeah. So we, we, okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, maybe for the next meeting we could get an update on where we are with Milton's. Uh, where, where were we that last week on that? Where we supposed uh, we're just kind of talking about it. You were clear that Adam was going to reach out oh, and do Adam, that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I was correct. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, release on you're the other release on. I am. I'll call I'll him. Give him a call. Awesome. Uh, okay. Anybody else on departments? Nope. We're going down to old business. Side and bid. Just out, waiting for response. None came in. No, sir. Okay. Uh, paving bid. Same. Same. Uh, recreation director job description. Got it. All right. So we. Uh, we had just changed um, number 19. Um, is this something I should have? No. I have it right here. There's only one master because we just added yeah. two words based on what you guys said last week. We put okay. in the but as a non-voting member. Yeah. That, uh, so that was that was the only change. So I guess we just have to make a motion to accept the job description. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we accept the recreational director job description. I'll second. All in favor? Uh, so just is, is there... I think it would be helpful for, I, I think Sam's getting ready to call her first meeting, and it would be helpful for, I think, the town to provide her a document that describes the role of the rec committee and sort of their purview, if you will. And so um, I know, Jennifer, you had started to draft something like that. Maybe for our, if we can, for our next meeting, we could, uh, you know, review that and um, I think it would also be, I would encourage there to be, as we're reviewing that before we vote on it, I'd love to have an opportunity for public discussion. If people want to comment on that before the vote is taken, I think that would be a good thing to do. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think we talked, I know I, I spoke to you about, I had some ideas on Fine. what the uh, yeah. committee should should do. So yeah, we'll especially being yeah. a little committee member at one point, you know, we right. knew what it used to be like. You know. Yeah, that's I fine. I, I don't have that history, but I think yeah. S Sam, I think we should provide that for Sam so that she can yeah. then present help. it to yeah. them and it's been sanctioned by, it's been approved by the selectmen and the, the committee can go forward and Sam can go forward. Make sense? Is it something we would bring her in and have her Look at it too before. I, I, yeah, I, I think we should invite her to the meeting. Okay, and, that's, and she already has. She, I mean, okay, the yeah. document was created about two weeks ago. Tom actually added to it last week during his office hours, and Sam has seen it. Oh, okay. So right. I'll see if she has but, anything last. To, but to she add. should know we're going to talk about it. And yeah. and she I, again, I think so the public, if if there are comments and thoughts from the public, let's make sure we have that discussion before a vote is taken. Sounds Make good. sense? Yep. So we just invite, probably invite the committee. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, it, well, you know, I mean, they would be the ones that would, I mean, if you're asking the director, it's herself who's brand new at it. Right. Um, okay. Most know, of the committee members She thinks too. the committee ought to do. Yeah. Maybe the committee ought to have an input on and think, hey, yeah. what about this and that? We don't, they don't, we don't have Look, to go by what they say. I'm, 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 uh, I'm a newbie, and but what I picked up is there's a lot of, uh, interests, yep. sincere interest in, you know, the direction of the rec program and the rec committee by the public. And the, the whole program is there to support kids and their parents. So if there are points of view about that, I think we ought to know what yep. those are. Well, and that's just, why I want, I, want, I want to see, the, uh, see if we can invite the, the people on the rec committee to come up so if they have yep. maybe some input, yep. we, don't, we want to make sure that they're not left out of the picture. That's right. I think that so, makes a lot good of sense. Idea. Okay, that's all signed up. Yeah. Oh. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, where are we now? Okay, we got a new business resignation. All right, I've got it right here. Um, this is from um, Ron Valancourt. I am resigning from the um, CF committee immediately due to personal reasons. It wasn't what I expected, and with my wife and my medical conditions, I need to put my full attention to these. I'm sorry, which committee? Conservation. Conservation. Forest. Conservation. Conservation. Forest. Okay. Sorry. Um, so I guess we. Uh, Second. Second. All in favor. So that means we have another opening. Yes. Do we have any opens that are already on that? I think we did. Do I one. think we might have one on that committee. I'll have to look. Do we need to sign this or do anything? Or? No, we made a motion. Second, did you vote okay. on it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's Okay. okay. Balsam Watershed Meet and Update. Okay, this is me. I went to my first meeting today of the of the of the watershed committee. Um, it was held in Sanford, um, the town or the city manager's office. The, actually, the mayor showed up. Shows their interest in uh, in this. Um, we had a total of six members of the committee there. Uh, most of the discussion was about the budget. And they went through uh, the various lines of the budget. Um, our share of that budget is, I think, is either 94 or 9600 dollars. I'm sorry, I don't have the number oh, right off the top. Right. But hmm? what, what, what part of the budget are you talking? I'm about? talking about the operating budget. Yeah, yeah, the 25 percent right. of the operating budget. Um, the majority, a good portion of that total budget was in response to a uh, inspection done by the state where there was a whole series of things that the state um, indicated needed to be fixed in in the uh, at the dam it was all all of it associated with the uh, emory mills dam nothing to do with square pond um, having gone through that budget um, in some detail, they were very forthcoming with their, their with their explanations, and I was trying to distinguish what's ongoing operating versus what is sort of one-time money here. And there was a fair amount in there that was one-time. Um, I think out of uh, a thirty-two thousand dollar budget in total mm -hmm. for operating, um, twelve to about twelve thousand was one-time money. So, um, and that could be almost exclusively tied back to the report from the state. Um, so uh, a motion was made and passed uh, to approve the budget as presented, and uh, that, that is consistent with what is in the warrant that's been uh, recommended by the selectmen. So um, I know there was a, a separate recommendation from the Warrant and Finance Committee, and I guess we'll take that up at town meeting. Yeah, yeah, because that's something we're going to have to uh, yeah. definitely uh, look at because um, at the end of the day, the recommendation that was made by the Warrant Finance Committee uh, really could put us in a situation where um, we're not no longer part of that, you know, I, I, uh, it affects it, a lot there, of, there are, I'm sorry, Kim. Did you I was just going to say it, it would affect a lot of our, um, I mean, I know they're not full-time residents, but there's a lot of residents on the lakes and stuff. I'm, I'm, um, there are procedures in the agreement mm -hmm. in the extent, to the extent to which we fail to appropriate the amount that was budgeted. And it would basically, as I read it, result in the town's withdrawal from that, yeah. that, uh, Tri town agreement. Um, I would, I'm not quite sure where best to get this, but I think the implications of withdrawing from that agreement are something we need to clearly understand. Um, I have my own thoughts on what that might mean, but um, I'm not quite sure how to get at this, but I think if the residents are going to be presented with two options, one that basically dissolves the agreement and one that continues it. I think people need to understand what does that mean if we do withdraw from the agreement? Right. What are the implications? And I, I, I've heard various scenarios might happen. Some of them seem um, quite serious. I don't know if all of that is true, 
but somehow, um, and I don't know which, if you have advice on this, but how could we ferret that out to be really clear? What happens if we're no longer part of this agreement? It seems to me we have no say in the maintenance and operations of those dams. Oh, whoa. And so I, I think the residents, Acton residents, on those two lakes, I think would would have concern with that. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So I think we just need to, you know, clarify what the implications are, and so that if there is going to be a vote about this that goes one way or the other, residents are fully informed about what that means. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, contract YCSD. Department. So in front of you, you have an updated um, contract for the deputy. Um, I got an email today indicating that based on current negotiations, uh, that is Acton's share, 50% at the bottom, which is $68,900.81. Oh, share set right over there. Should be your Oh, contract. is that what this is? Okay. At what the page you want? On the top page. Mm -hmm. This oh, one it says oh. it's the contract. Yeah. yeah. So um, 68,900, um, we budgeted 68,000 for this, this because it, this is the number that just came in though, 68,900. It is part of um, general government, so the difference uh, won't be a problem, but that's their number. More importantly, what you need to do is take some time to start looking over this uh, document that you have, which is the agreement between York County and the towns of Acton and Shapley. Uh, we've been communicating back and forth with Sanford, trying to get our hands on this copy because I know at town meeting uh, there'll be questions about it. Uh, they made some substantial changes to it. Uh, normally you can see the comments on the side. They've got those down and out. But if you, if you go through it and kind of tell, you can kind of see where it would be highlighted and underlined. Um, one of the things that I thought was interesting, let's see. Um, termination, because we just because we just dealt with this, I was just interested to see how they changed that. But on page four, it says either party may cancel this agreement prior to the expiration date by giving 30 days written notice to either party. If the town cancels this agreement, they will be responsible for the cost through the designated termination date. Ooh, wow! <laughs> Thought you would find. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, there's a lot of changes in here. So um, what, it, what, it, what it was was, see, when we couldn't get a con contract deputy, and he wasn't, they weren't performing at the time because it was no fault of us. They didn't have anybody to give us. Um, there was thoughts that we were going to say, screw, you know, we're out of here. It should you be know? parity <laughs> on, 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 the, on the termination provision. Yeah, and if, if that's true, um, for Acton to be penalized for that, then it seems to me the sheriff department ought to be held to a similar level of responsibility. Yeah, I think like we want to comb over this real. There well. is, and yeah. that's what I'm saying to you. So um, there is a lot of underlying changes. Um, Do you have the original one from last year? It would be helpful to if, if we, if I could have that. Maybe it's here, Jennifer. I'm yeah. sorry if it is. No, it's not. I can also yeah. print this off. Um, so I can see what the changes. Yeah, are. Well, if I print it off in color. Um, through code office, you'll see, because they haven't taken anything out. It's either they, highlighted or struck yeah, out. So this is the original. In. They didn't, they struck out what they changed. Oh, I see. So you know this I mean? is like a... Uh, if I get it to you in color, it'll be a lot easier. Okay. All right. But I will tell you that Shapley has um, has agreed, if, if you're interested, once we get to the final um, document, to split the legal, key, split the legal costs to let the same, because we use the same attorney, so I might as well split the cost with Shapley to have legal review it when we think we're done with it. Okay, um, that's a good idea. And another town that um, I'm going to keep nameless for now reached out because they're negotiating with the Sheriff's Department right now. He sent me um, some of their proposed changes, so I'm going to forward you that email because they're having some troubles and they've changed some language that might be interesting, interesting to you. Okay. Hmm. Um, I mean, this you know, doesn't. Need on an agreement like this, I would, I would hope that, um, as a starting point, the terms of an agreement with Acton would be no worse than the terms of agreements with all the other towns that they're servicing. Um, you know, sort of a most favored nation status provision yeah. on the contract. Uh, so, if they're introducing new provisions. 
Well, this town is introducing them <clears throat> to the sheriff's department. I'm not sure that they've seen or even agree with them, but the town is insisting on. No, no but you understand what yeah. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. If, if, if they have, inquiring, yeah. that who you're talking if about? they have this adverse right. sort of termination oh, provision, yes, yes, yes. I'm saying, well, if that's the way they do it with all the towns, well, actually, I should look that would be if, relevant. Yeah, I'm gonna actually I, look I at my email. Know that. I'd like uh, to but see if it's it. not, then yeah. why are they introducing this to us? Good point. Now I see what you're saying. I'm going to yeah. pull his contract up real quick. I can tell you if it's in there. No, that's all right. We can do this at a later date. Do you want to do public announcements before we... Yeah, probably could I do. We've already done that point. Huh? True boy. Um, yeah, so I think we really have to look at this. Uh, yeah, I would say so. A fine tooth gold. So we, we should be at a point close to uh, town meeting where you're ready to present something because although town meeting only asked the voters to allow you to enter into the agreement, I mean, you know, the voters are going to want to know what the contract says and yeah. what, you know what I mean, to help them make their decision. So, you know, with that being said, today's the third week of May. Well, we just got to make sure that we don't hang ourselves out to dry here. Um, I mean, Honestly, the way the contract was set up before, they were literally able to just not provide a service, yeah. hung us out to dry. I mean, yeah, we have our, our regular county tax where they have to come whenever, but, yeah. um, you know, because I've had mixed feelings with this all along. I know you have. Yeah. Um, and and I, I believe the deputy is a good idea. I just feel that when we weren't getting the service and when, and and then they, then they put something in like that saying, okay, well, if we decide we want out of this and you, we're going to pay for it, well, it could be the other way around too. Yeah. If you don't get your service, yeah. then you know you're gonna you you should be paying for some service to be coming in and take care of it That's because right. you're not because yeah. you know I deal with contracts all the time. Yeah. If I don't complete my service, then they can come after me. Sure. So it should be the vice versa. One's one's good good for one, one's good for the other. But we just want to make sure that we have our lawyer and we we look go through this to make sure yeah. everything is. Is, Je is Shapley on the same timeline as we are? No, Shapley is going to have to have a special town meeting. They run on a calendar year, so they're going to have a special town meeting in November, I believe, to ask the voters for this. But uh, I guess it, uh, beyond sharing the attorney, would there be an interest in um, negotiating with, with having Shapley join us? In this negotiation, I think that if would be we a have good agreement yep. on the on the provision, why not join with them, and then they can get it done in June, and it'll be ready for whenever they bring it forward to their town. I, I think what the other town's contract is different. There's a couple whole sections that aren't in ours. I think what we really should do is have have Shapley look at the contract, yeah. see what they if they have any dislikes or likes or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we can do the same thing and meet with just them. I don't want to bring the sheriff's department. No, no, no. I First, figure out what our just yeah. the two towns yeah. together. Yeah. What do you think, Kim? I think it's a good idea. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, how do we uh, arrange that? Just schedule a meeting. Yeah. Schedule a meeting. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we got an executive session, so uh, we're, we're going to do public comment first. Is there any public comment? As Dennis is, is walking up, so this meeting with Shapley will fall under because it's a co it's a contract negotiation, so it is going to fall under an executive session. Yep. Okay. Um, That's fine. Uh, thank you, Tom, for your explanation tonight on Emily Mills Dam. Uh, and I'm speaking now from the Warren Finance Committee. Uh, we've tried for a couple of years to get the explanations that you got today and the idea that has been put out there a little bit that the Warrant Finance Committee um, wants to end the contract uh, it's been put out there yeah. and yep. that absolutely is not true okay uh, there were no violation on their vote the violation was as you very well know uh, when Sanford uh, presented a budget without involving the other two towns. Okay. Uh, they're the ones that was in violation. And, and the Warren Finance Committee has struggled with this a few years now. Yeah. And uh, But with your explanation tonight, uh, which I feel very comfortable with, uh, at town meeting, uh, I will be supporting the money for the Emory Mills Dam. Thank you, Dennis. Thanks for your explanation. I, I really appreciate that. 
I, I can also say that uh, they were, uh, they acknowledged uh, um, the missteps in terms of the, the running of that committee and the way the budgets were not presented and so on. So they were, uh, they fully acknowledged that. And um, there was a, 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 an affirmation by everybody at the meeting that that's gonna change. And that we gotta be meeting a couple times a year at least. We're gonna have a, a budget proposed in December. We're gonna have an opportunity to meet and discuss that. And uh, if I continue on this committee, I'm happy to make sure that I can bring that back to Warren Finance, or, uh, or if you have questions, I'm happy to field them. Okay. Did you, when you were explaining all the stuff down there on the uh, the dam, did you give any numbers of what was actually being spent on? I'm, I, just, I'm just I, trying to figure this out because, um, it's been three years, many years. Okay, this has yeah. been a problem. Okay, every year this happens. Yeah. No different than any other year. Yeah. This year, except they, the, this committee decided to completely amend ninety two hundred dollars out of this article. Okay, and now all of a sudden, now it's all right because you said that it's good, but you never gave a number stating why it was good. Why? Why? why I'm not sure I understand. No, you Dennis, I'm, you, you've had your turn. Um, well, no, I'm just. You went to the you went to this uh, the meeting, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. and and we do know that the town of Acton, you know, was not present during the last meeting, right? I I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, I no, don't know. No, okay, I, that's what I they guess. didn't. They didn't. Oh, you're saying so Acton nor Shapley when they set this yeah. budget, nobody was there. No, but they didn't have a just meeting. Said, yeah, just <laughs> I Alex set yeah. the budget, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and we knew so, that one and, person and, set the budget. He and, wasn't and aware of the contract. We, weren't, we weren't part of that. Right. We didn't have an invite. No, we didn't. Nor did Chaplin. No, this yeah. wasn't a failure on the part of any representatives. No, in no I know, but that's not what he's talking about. Well, there was, there was a point because the, our representative, when he got down, yeah, at some point, that was right. his thing. That was his right. baby was yeah. that damn thing. Yeah. And we weren't sure in yeah. between that we had missed something. Yeah, no, I don't think we missed any. From, look, I didn't go back and, and, and create a chronology of what meetings took place, what was discussed. They just acknowledge that they haven't been doing a good, they, they, I don't, in my words, they haven't been doing the kind of um, meetings and uh, material and explanations that they realize they should per the contract. Yeah. And they acknowledge that and said, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna do this better in the future. So um, I think the fact that the mayor was there was uh, also signified that um, everyone wanted to do a better job. What I also asked them for was an accounting of the actuals. I wanna know, this is a budget, how are they actually spending the money? Who's getting the contracts, et cetera. I, I don't think there's any issue there. And I wanted to know how much they have in reserves because they have a capital reserve. So, and what I'd like to do going forward is they ought to have a capital plan. We ought to know, you know, what repairs are going to be needed over what period of time. I don't want to get stuck with a bill. Like, I understand we took out debt three years ago. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of a. I don't know if we well, took out was, debt, I but mean, it was it a for the, for, for the dam repair. Where we had to make up for the difference. We had to right. appropriate oh, yeah, yeah, the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, was, they said they that, and then we got a reimbursement back right, afterwards. Right. right, reimbursement from well, yeah, we overpaid. Oh. We got overbilled. So we, we no, that's not what they, that's different. Well, I don't want to get into all the details, yeah. but but, no, I, but, I, but the point is there was a bill presented that was I don't think there was any advance notice of. It was just all of a sudden, all of a sudden they we did an inspection. The they found they had a problem, and I think they it was six figures they had to spend on that dam, and right. there was no plan for that prior to that occurring, and there should be. And I appreciate it. I. That's not where I was going with it. I, oh, everything. okay. You know, your information all right, I'll shut up. Great and all that. I yeah. just think that. Um, I, I'm responding to uh, Mr. Long's interpretation of what happened at the Finance Committee and over the years of what's been going on, mm -hmm. I think was not really, um, I don't believe that's what happened. Uh, I was at that Finance Committee meeting when I said you don't have to get rid of the money, okay, and a motion was made to get rid of $9,200 of that money, not knowing where it went or anything. Now we have, I believe everybody on that committee voted against that, correct? I don't think so. It was 
Pretty, it was pretty either, good size. It was either boat. zero to six or one to five. If yeah. I okay, so now we have on the warrant a um, an amendment. Okay, which somebody's going to have to make at the meeting. But at the time, it was apparent to me there that with lack of research, you guys made an amendment to something there that you had no idea what you were making an amendment on. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that, now that, we're, that, no, that, that, that's that, your yeah. opinion. And I, I'm, I'm running the meeting here, Dennis. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I was trying to make a point here that when you came up and explained, oh, now it's all good. At that meeting, we were trying to explain to you that there was reasons why that we would look into it, but you still proceeded to make the motion. Okay, now on the books, it's going to show ought not to pass by the warrant finance. So in, in the future, I guess when you're on the warrant finance and you start making amendments, um, and then you turn around and say, okay, now I'm good with it, that doesn't work. Because now everybody in the town of Acton is looking at that book is going to see, oh, the finance doesn't, doesn't seem to think this ought to pass. Now we have to go down and fight that at town meeting because of, of something that you've been trying to do for the last three years. And that's, don't tell me that you have true, it, because David. you can go through every finance committee meeting that I've been at. When it comes to the end of the day, when we vote on those, that's always been your fetish was that dam. I have do not have a fetish to begin with. And second of all, I explained very clearly the Warrant Finance Committee wanted information from the coalition on where this money was being spent. And we could not get it. We didn't have any more information than you had, okay, at the time. Okay. And then, but would there so, have been any meetings? So now, when, when, when now Tom's gone and got the ball rolling and everything's on um, the straight and narrow, we had to make a recommendation back in March. And now it's two months later when it gets cl cleared up. So. How the Warrant Finance Committee uh, votes uh, is, again, completely up to the Warrant Finance Committee. It's come up to them what research uh, information they want, just like it's your guys' prerogative to vote however you want to vote. If, if I could just say, I... I'm done. Um, Thank you. I, I, I don't want to be party to critiquing the Warren Finance Committee's work. I'm not saying that. I, I'm not, I, Tom, I, let's, I let's don't, hold on. That's not my role. That's not what I'm trying to say is... When the individual comes up and says, oh, I've never had a problem with this, and da-da-da-da-da, I know better than that. And I was at that meeting when we were trying to explain, this is an agreement that we had that if we get out of this agreement, it's not going to be good. Yeah. And everybody was aware of that. And now all of a sudden, oh, geez, you know, now if we get out of it, now we're not going to have any say. No kidding. We tried to explain that before. Um, but I just, I just thought that um, it ought to be put out there that we... And it wasn't just yourself, Tom. We were all part of this. That well, we want to know what was going on, also. Yeah. So, excuse me. <sighs> Dennis. Thank you. Ray. A couple of things. Um, on the rec director job description. Yep. If memory serves me correctly, uh, you guys have talked about it not being a non-voting uh, situation yep. for the director. The committee can make recommendations, but then the director will bring to you what they feel, she feels in this case, um, should be worked on. Yep. Right. I'm sure she'll take into account what the committee is asking. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, me too. If we get the right person, they will. <laughs> so how many do you know? Do you have a number of how many people will be on the committee? We've got six right now. Six right? or seven. Seven. There are seven currently. Not counting the director. Yeah, we haven't put a limit on it, yeah. but we obviously you kind of like an odd number if possible. Yeah. Yeah. We did talk about that last week, whether or not we were going to put a limit. We never made a decision on that because at this point we're just as glad we got people joining. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> so I don't want to put a limit on it right now. <laughs> All right, yeah. and uh, now we move on to the well, just being discussed, uh, talking about in making the amendment to this then we, we'd have to break uh, the contract. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't the contract broken when they didn't call the meetings and they made their decisions 
I, I, I suppose if we that was a, that was a breach of contract. If, I think if we it it was. Uh, I don't think they will. failed to follow the contract. Yeah, if right. we wanted to cite that as a reason for terminating the contract, I suspect we could, but I think we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure what the point is, Ray. Right. To be honest with you. I understand, and I don't. I don't believe that we completely eliminated uh, or us to get out of the contract with this. What we were asking, as uh, was pointed out. Um, that we wanted to know where the money was spent. X amount of dollars we were looking at going towards maintaining the grounds and stuff like that. So we did, um, in a sense, prove for the maintenance of the dam, but not for the maintenance of the grounds. So I don't see how the people of Acton are at fault in any way, because we are still willing, as far as the committee went, to have money go to the maintaining of the dam, but not the maintenance of the well, What I was grounds. trying to explain was by, by amending that $9,200 was pretty much a breach of contract that we were gonna literally be walking away from it. Yeah. That's what was gonna happen. That's why I was trying to explain that that night that, hey, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta stick, stick with this, you know, okay? But by making the motion that he did, you know, it, it, it looked really bad on the other side of it. Granted, we were still looking for information, but you know the amount of money had like blown up huge. It was relatively the same every year. Okay, just a little. There was an increase, a small one. Okay, but when when that was made, the amendment was made. To me, felt like okay. If I was to look at the amendment, okay, and said okay, I don't like this. I don't like this, but I like this. That means you don't like the article. It should have just been ought not to pass, but to make the amendment, it didn't make any sense, which is fine. That's fine. That's what the finance committee wants to do. That's the way they want to do it. But at the end of the day, you can't have any money because the contract's going to be void anyways. You, you know, uh, uh, well, I, I don't know all of what was what happened in the sequences of, of things, but I, to some degree. The, the uh, amendment that you made um, was a shot across the bow to, to the committee. And uh, uh, it may have had a positive impact on wanting to get the committee now to follow the right procedure. They're very happy to share detail about expenses. I don't know what it was like before, but uh, that meeting was very pleasant and very uh, effective. A lot was accomplished. And, you know, my guess is there are no secrets in town government. And they may have been well aware that there was an effort underway to reduce the, the budget. And maybe it, maybe it uh, caused someone to sit up and take notice. So uh, the money that was given up to this. I'm just saying, it's a, it's, it, but it sets it, a bad a precedent part. because when I you gonna, understand it was a game of chicken. Day, it, was, it was a game of chicken, chicken and <laughs> it was a game of chicken. You yeah. know, we might not have liked the outcome of that, but it seems to have worked well. So, um, but they I, have received this money on a yearly basis, correct? I'm sorry. They have received the money on a yearly basis, even though they breached the contract by not letting us. We know. haven't. They Ask haven't here. received any money, obviously. We, we, put we don't know that they the breached it last, last year. year. Just, for, just for clarity, we don't know yeah. that they breached it last year. And we also got to remember, a new, a new person took over the department. Alex it's, it's, Hammerhill started overseeing it. A lot of these things didn't happen also because that's of COVID. That's a technicality. Okay, I, I appreciate that it. But well, that's in a legal back. format. If you well, have a contract, that's a legal document. Yeah, but contracts can be breached for a whole variety of reasons. And if the parties agree to just move on and continue, then there's no, there's no consequence. It's when one of the parties in the contract says, you breached the contract and I want to terminate it. That's when it's something. But if somebody breaches it and we participate in that breach, then, which we did. Do you believe they breached the contract? Why not? Uh holding their meetings and allowing for people to yeah, come but in. Do, and should we walk away budget. or should we just continue on as, as we're doing? Like I said, our intent was to continue to donate money to the repair and the maintenance of the dam, yep. but not to the grounds that surround the dam. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the $9,200 that it, it was a quarter of the total. It was like 30, $32,000. 
that was maintaining the bridge and the grounds and everything. And when we say grounds, what I was able to see, it was the area around the dam and the state report cited it that says you need to make sure the vegetation has come back because those roots can get in there and cause problems with the dam. So it wasn't like they were just mowing up a, a field. It was, you know, it was maintenance around the dam. Now the other comment that I wanted to straighten out was, uh, Mr. Chairman, you said that we did, we did, we took a vote without doing our research. We did ask for the information and the information was not provided. That night when we, when the vote came, okay, that's the first time I had ever heard that you wanted the information of what was being spent on the groundwork. Okay, and then you, you guys made your vote that night. So there was no way that we were gonna be able to get any of that. Right, there, well, there was a budget, just so we know, there was a budget presented. Sanford did reach out to the treasurer and the treasurer put in each one of your books a budget yeah. of, that, of where that number came from. Everybody has it, I have it, the selectmen have it. So there was a budget in there. As far as additional details, if you have questions about the budget, yeah. maybe we should have invited somebody in, you know, to, from, the, from Sanford to come and answer it. But like the social services or like all the different departments, if we don't hear that you want to schedule something and it's, you know, we'll know better for next year, we would have had no way of bringing it in. I mean, that was in there. The budget books have been picked up. Everybody had a chance to look you know, at it. The other thing is, as I understand it, Ed, uh, uh, prior to his resignation, was uh, a member of that committee. Yeah, they stopped a meeting. Yeah. It's, he yeah. definitely was. And, yeah, and the committee I mean, just stopped So he meeting. was not here. And I suspect he would have been able to provide additional color to what, what was going on in that budget that quite frankly I didn't I didn't have that until until today's meeting and so I I think there were it was it was it was it was a sequence of events I don't think anyone has done anything here that is is uh, is malicious and I, I think the contract is is uh, is still in is going to stand I I would not worry about the breach of contract issue I would just let's go forward and do the right thing so perhaps for the future when books are handed out, budgets are handed out, then all the pertinent information should come along with that so we can make an informed decision. You got everything we got, just like this from the social services, everything you got from Red Cross was in your book. Everything we got from that damn coalition was in your book. You got everything we got. There was nothing if the else. committee wanted more, you would have to tell us to reach out to that organization and we would schedule them to come in and meet with you. You got what we got. So there was nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. We had nothing else. The board didn't have any questions, so we didn't invite them in to meet with us. The Warren of Finance is certainly more than welcome to, but we got to know that you want to meet with them if what was in that book wasn't sufficient. Because as far as we knew, you know, you ex it, it was until somebody, until, you know, Dennis tells me otherwise to schedule a meeting, that's all I have to go by. I mean, that paper was in there from the beginning, just like all your other departments. You guys chose which ones to meet with. What I can do is. You know is what I mean? I'm not get, trying to, I mean, that's. When I get the actual accounting, <laughs> when I get the accounting of the actuals, uh, when through next year's budget cycle, we'll make sure that's in your book and you have access to that and you'll see what the actuals are. And if you have any questions as the rep on the committee, send them to me and I'll see what I can do to get them answered. We, we always give, is, we give all the information we have. We've always done yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even though at some points, you know, we've been told that we, we don't, but we, we try our best. Yeah. And um, our treasurer's always always done well with getting that yeah, stuff there. Sure. Um, it's whether or not, you know, people reading it know what they're looking at. Thank you very much. You're Any other pu public comment? <sighs> okay, do I hear a motion? Make a motion we go into executive session 405-6A1 personnel treasurer search. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, do I hear a motion? Make a motion we come out of executive session 405-6A1, personnel treasurer search. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. You want to do the announcements? Sure. Um, for announcements, we have Thursday, May 19th, we have a planning board site walk at 5 p.m. at um, 1505 Fox's Ridge Road. And again, Thursday, May 19th, we have a planning board meeting at 6 p.m. And then next Wednesday, we have a select board meeting at 6 p.m. And that's it. Okay. Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Sorry. Okay.
Good night. I was thinking of something else. I had a